I grew up in Colorado with my sister and my brother, I'm the oldest, and Christmas was kind of my mother's territory. She was sort of in charge, and she was kind of like Sook because she made everything really, really special. Um, Christmas morning, my brother, who was very, very young, I don't really remember him coming into the picture until later, but my sister and I would come down the stairs, we shared a bedroom upstairs, and the room with the tree had all the Christmas, uh, the, you know, the Christmas toys from Santa Claus were all laid out beautifully, none of them were wrapped, we knew they were from Santa, it was great. It was only years later that we realized that Santa never wrapped anything because my mother <laughs> was an inveterate procrastinator and she was up to like three o'clock in the morning taking you know price tags off everything and just laying stuff out and quickly catching a couple hours sleep before we came banging downstairs for Christmas. So one of my favorite Christmas memories is um, I had bunk beds when I was a little girl. My sister and I shared um, a room, so we had bunk beds, and we'd always, right on Christmas Eve, make a little map on how to sneak downstairs at one in the morning or something to see if Santa had come, and we'd leave him cookies and um, carrots for the reindeer, and we'd always set our alarm so that we'd know exactly how to get down the stairs without creaking and waking up our parents, and then we would set our alarms. They'd go off, we'd like quietly get really excited and go down the stairs and we'd check to see if Santa had left gifts, which she always did, and our stockings were always overflowing. We got really excited and then we would go and check to see uh, if Santa had eaten the cookies and he'd always leave a little note. And then we'd like think we were being really mischievous and we'd peel open some tape and see if we got a gift and then we'd look in the stockings and go through that and see everything, put it back strategically perfect so no one knew. And then we'd crawl back upstairs and like pretend to sleep until everyone else was awake. And then that went on probably a little bit later than I'd like to say, probably into like our teens. We'd still pretend to like uh, make maps and know how to get downstairs. It was just a fun memory with my sister. Um, every year on Christmas Eve, my family and I go up to the Mormon Temple in the Oakland Hills and we check out their nativity scene, which is not just any nativity scene, it's huge. They have an enormous garden um, and the whole thing's decked out with lights and we'd walk through it and see the beautiful decorations and we could also go up to the third and fourth balconies outside the church and overlook the whole city and you can see um, the Golden Gate Bridge from there so we'd see all of those lights and then we'd come back down and drive through the neighborhoods that were um, decorated beautifully for Christmas and see just what they've done and they'd have classic scenes of like Santa Claus and the reindeer and sometimes you'd have like Scooby-Doo Christmas on their lawn. It was just really fun to see and um, after we enjoyed that, we'd go home and eat, which is my favorite part. 